all of the algebraic rules of differentiation, the most difficult one to master is the chain rule. Often students that have no trouble at all with the earlier algebraic rules will reach the chain rule and they'll get stuck and confused. So I like to introduce the chain rule gradually in parts. The first thing that I would introduce would be a kind of a what I would call a baby chain rule. The baby chain rule is based on the idea that the derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1, the power rule. The baby chain rule is about the derivative of f of x raised to the n. So the baby chain rule says the derivative of f of x to the n is n times f of x to the n minus 1. Okay, the warning symbol started flashing because uh, I didn't finish writing the equation. You can't just say it's n times f of x to the n minus 1. There's an extra factor. So I'm going to write times. Okay, that made the warning signal stop. So I write times, a factor that I call the chain rule factor, which is the derivative f prime of x. And now it's correct. So this is the baby chain rule. And I want to show you a few concrete examples. But, okay. So that now it's telling us we got it right. That's good. Um, so I want to show you a few concrete examples. First of all, let's look at the derivative of x squared to the fifth. Uh, you don't need the baby chain rule to find this derivative because, you know, it's really the same as x to the tenth, and the derivative will be 10x to the ninth. But let's just use the baby chain rule on this uh, just to see how the tool works and to make sure that it gives us 10x to the ninth. So f of x in this case is x squared. So the derivative of x squared to the fifth is going to be 5 times x squared to the fourth. Oh, come on, I didn't finish writing it. Right, 5x squared to the fourth times the chain rule factor, which in this case, do you know what it is? It is 2x. 5x squared to the fourth times 2x. That's what the baby chain rule says to do. Then if you simplify this by combining the 5 and the 2 to a 10, and x squared to the 4th times another x is x to the 9th, it turns out to be 10x to the 9th, which is the correct answer. So now let's look at an example where you cannot do it without the baby chain rule, an example involving the sine function. So suppose we have y equals sine... Oh, great, told me I was right. So suppose we have y equals sine squared of x. Sine squared of x is not something that looks like it's in the form f of x to the n. But if you rewrite it this way, putting the exponent outside, then it might be easier to see how the baby chain rule applies. So I have y equals sine of x squared and the derivative of x squared is 2x, so the derivative of sine of x squared is going to be 2... Oh, i got to be careful. When I write 2 times sine of x, that warning signal will come up again. So uh, I have to write... It's going to be 2 times sine of x, and then quickly I'm going to write times... 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. Ha! Huh. I cut it off. I only got the first two lines. It seems stuck there. I think I broke it. So you see the chain rule factor in this case is cosine of x because that's the derivative of sine of x. By the way, you might notice that 2 sine of x cosine x is familiar. Why would the derivative of sine squared of x be sine of 2x? That's something for you to ponder later. One last example. Suppose we had the function y equals the square root of 1 plus x squared. Well, this is the same as 1 plus x squared to the 1 half power. And therefore, since the derivative of x to the 1 half is 1 half x to the negative 1 half, we have derivative of 1 plus x squared to the 1 half is 1 half times 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. I thought the warning signal was going to flash now. I guess I really broke it, because what I've written now is wrong. I still need another factor. I need the chain rule factor times 2x, because 2x is the derivative of 1 plus x squared. And then this probably would be written this way, x over square root of 1 plus x squared. So I hope you followed all these steps, and if you did, try it on your own with some of the practice examples.